Hello everyone and welcome to Black Eyes. Uh this is a game by yeah. Gotta check the store page real quick, give me a second. This is a game by Super Duper or Garrett Cooper. Uh it's available on Steam for fifteen dollars. Four pack for forty five dollars. <coughs> and here we are, we're just gonna jump into this. Welcome to Black Ice. I've set to press two to hack stuff, so here we are hacking stuff. Some of my minions with three and six. Back to hacking. Because there is no oh, kill like overkill, we're just gonna hack like 10 servers at once here. And we mop up the enemies. These are like level 1 enemies, we just happen to spawn here so I'm mopping them up because I can. Check my inventory. Yeah, I love getting a, a bunch of kills and then watching the floor be covered with the, the pixelated remains. And that's that. That's all those servers hacked. Oh. Except this one. Where's the last guy? Gotta get up here. There he is. Now at this point we only bother picking up orange loot from here because it's all trash but the orange loot at least sells decently. Now then, we're gonna move through, hacking some stuff as we go. Like just this entire block of servers here. It's off that exploding barrel. Uh, I can't think of anything to say to fill this time, so, um, comment down below if you're interested in more crap like this, I guess. Oh, you can also click these little bits here for randomly made info on these companies. Now we're gonna jump in here. I actually remember in an older build of the game, this had blank info because it was a placeholder for a later side quest that they're still working on. As for how I know it was part of a side quest, the devs actually have a public discord or the, that the game itself can link y'all to. Actually, I'm going to pause this right now and ask if I can put the discord link in the description. Okay, so, I asked that question in the public discord. Wait, did that say- yep, save and resume. Alright then. Usually most games that save and quit, how to do a double take. Hmm, level up, cool. Well, that's that then. 
Yeah, this is supposed to be some kind of Boston seawall thing going on. Now we have a skill point available over here. We're going to buff our weapon damage. Get emergency overclocking because we seem to get an alarm. We seem to spend an alarming amount of time low on health. Yep. Five key is bound to an EMP that does me medium damage that insta kills these weaklings. At higher levels, it's useful for a stun. Now, I may notice these enemies are different colors. That signifies that enemies that they'll fight because enemies of different colors are just as hostile to each other as they are to the player. In my personal experience. And just from what I've heard in general, yeah. This here is apparently also a puzzle, but I don't know what it actually is or what the goal of it is. It's a slighty blocky puzzle that I don't understand. And if I ask on the Discord, I'll probably just get the full solution. And I, I ain't about that stuff, man. Now, the... Those little towery bits that I don't know the names of, those mean that that's a fortress server. It will passively spawn friendly NPCs once hacked, but will sp spawn enemy NPCs until then. Now y'all should be able to tell. They're now white aligned. Oh, I still have this hack going on. Crap. Whew. Yeah, every hack has a limited radius, and if you're outside of that radius for too long, it actually cancels the hack entirely. Kind of useful if you hack something way too high above your level, I will admit. Now this is an unknown server. Masking registry. So we hack it, and then we'll learn what its level and such are. Once again, I am running low on stuff to fill this empty space with, if dialogue-wise, so... Uh, shout out to Vine Sauce Joel. He hasn't done anything for me as a person. I'm just saying, he's a cool guy. Check him out. That scratching y'all might be hearing is McCat. She enjoys tearing things up. And we are actually not sure how to stop her. Beyond shooing her away whenever she starts. That pink is a unique item. What does the spider mine actually do? I'm 
I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna drop it. Okay, it summons a kamikaze. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we can we can replace our e. No, we cannot replace a stun with that. <laughs> the orange loot that I'm always snagging up here is top tier, -er, or at least the highest tier below absolute uniques. Which actually generally suck anyways in my experience. Not sure why or how, but they just kinda suck. Now that over there with the dollar sign and the blue tint is a shop. So we'll just be over here. Uh, go into our inventory actually. Mark all our uniques as favorites. Yep. And sell all. <coughs> now that's a very bad deal there, in my experience. However, what we can do is just hack the shop. Now, in older versions of the game, hacking a shop would actually force it to drop its entire inventory. However, nowadays it just drops its best stuff. At least from what the devs have told me. Hmm, that was an actually pretty good gun it dropped. Inferior, but still high quality. Yeah, pop an EMP for easy clear out. Now, you don't have mana or any th or stamina in this game. You have RAM shown in the bottom right there. And doing things like sprinting shooting all consumes it now here's another fortress server which we're also going to take for ourselves and as well as everything in its block now those are linked servers J hacking one also forces a hack on the other that's it Pop off another EMP as usual. Okay.
That big skull in the distance there is Finality Incorporated. Level 50 server, closest thing this game seems to have to a final boss in my experience. And welcome to Portcullis Security. You only need to you only need to hack this place once, but hey. Why not? The way hacks work in this game, there's a timer on the bottom left there, and until that timer runs down, enemies will not stop spawning. And once it has run down, finishing the hack is as simple as mopping the place up. Ooh, nice. Sort inventory. This is a choice cube. We're gonna crack it open and everything here sucks. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna compare these two gold standards. Yeah, mm, no. No. Okay, so I'm just gonna get another multi hack. That's a mortar to that's a mortar GZ there. And the thing I just killed that had a massive abdomen, that is. Their whole shtick is that they plant themselves in the ground and well, they mortar strike an area. Simple stuff, really. Pop heal. And that's three servers secured. Ooh, XP gem. Nice. Now, in my experience, the only fortress servers here are mad overleveled, except for one. If you can brave the lava, hop all your way through here. Welcome to the aimbot factory.
This is like a mad fast hack, but it spawns a lot of enemies right off the bat. As y'all can see. One thing to know is that major designed areas like this and Portcullis, they actually shut the entrance when you start the hack. Comment down below what other games I should do because I I, I have a truly massive library of crap I could play for y'all. From RuneScape 3 to CS Source even. Alright, Choice Cube. <laughs> wow. The funny thing here is, the devs have actually informed me that this is supposed to drop a great aimbot and it's still worse than what I already have. I have received a statement from at least one known person on the Discord. They're not a dev, but they're the kind of person that people know. Yeah, you know, or regular there. I've received a statement from them that I'm a I place a Discord link in my description. So I'm thinking I'm going to be doing that. Yeah, we compare on these two to see if either of them... And of course, I've already got a hack speed buff, and nothing really tops that in my scenario. Yeah, multi-hacks over lava. If anything goes wrong here, I deserve it.
Yeah, that's just something that happens sometimes. Weird glitches can result in you getting popped way into the air. The devs are aware of it. I don't remember if they plan on actually fixing it or not because I think I remember them saying something about it being like legit useful so they don't want to uh, kill it. Don't quote me on that because even I know how bad my memory is. I at least know the devs are aware that's something that happens. Wonderful, it's in the lava. Nope, nope, nope. What did I just get? Finish a hack of less than 5% health. Well, I'd say that's as good a time as any to stop recording. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.